Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk some Monday night football. The Baltimore Ravens head to the Vegas Raiders. You want to talk about it from a DFS perspective? Great, that's what I thought. Stick around, and I'll be right back. Hey, there you are. You came back. You know, I always appreciate it when you come back after the short break, but here we are. I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about the Monday night football game. The Baltimore Ravens head to the Vegas Raiders, and it's going to be a fantastic game. First Monday night football game of the season. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty excited about this one. Normally, I'm excited about every Monday night football game, but this one has a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things to get into. So before we do that, make sure you go to Team Riser Fall, like and share, subscribe, and while you're there, use promo code NFL50. It'll get you 50% off your first month of premium services. It's crazy. I know I say it in every video, not trying to hawk stuff or be like a used car salesman, but it's really, it's priceless in a way. And I'm not just saying that because I work there. I'm telling you, the Discord is always on fire. So many sharp DFS minds, fantasy sports minds in, in one spot talking about it. And you could be there right now talking with me, talking to everybody. Use promo code NFL50, and then we'll talk about it later. I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't want to be a jerk and go, well, you'll enjoy it so much, and you'll get a free car. None of that will happen, obviously, but we'll play DFS. We'll love it. We'll learn, build, and compete, as the, the, the graphic says. That is the motto of Team Riser Fall. All right, enough with the nonsense. I could talk, you know, I could spin anything to my advantage and talk nonsense for hours on end, as I'm sure you know. So I thank you for being here. Let's keep it tight in this one. So right off the bat, let me bring up my uh, my stat sheet. Obviously, I have all the notes written down, just in case I, I don't want to forget anything as we're as we're chatting and going through it all here. But right off the bat, as I said, Lamar Jackson. By far and away the most expensive player on the slate. Lamar, as I said, goes to Vegas. Lamar, it's 24th. Vegas, excuse me. Vegas Raiders are 24th overall against opposing quarterbacks. And on FanDuel, he's 17,000 bucks. On DraftKings, he's 18,600 bucks. Now look, let me let me get my my story straight or my card straight here. This the Baltimore Ravens have dealt with catastrophic injuries at both the running back, but mainly the running back position, but also the cornerback position, safety, DB, however you want to put it. Marcus Peters tore his uh, ACL, making a tackle on Gus Edwards, who I believe is also tore up his knee. Right, so it's insane. But now Baltimore has signed uh, Latavius Murray. We'll get to him, I promise you. And Lavian Bell, who I don't think, uh, I don't, it's a weird thing here. Does Lavian Bell make the starting roster on Monday night? You'd, you'd think so, but the guy was just signed here. I know we're talking about Lamar Jackson, but I'm working it all out as we go. Normally, all the videos I do, I have kind of like a short end, like I showed you, I have like a short ended script, but I kind of riff off that because I feel like that's what I'm best at. So if I get off on tangents, I try and bring myself back in the best that I can. Let's get back to Lamar. As I said, in Vegas. Vegas is 24th overall against opposing quarterbacks. $17,000 on FanDuel, $8,600 on DraftKings. Now it gets a little bit dicey when you go down the list. Everybody and their mother is going to be on Tyson Williams, who it, it, it makes sense, right? And Vegas is 29th DVP overall against opposing uh, running backs. 29th, as I said. Tyson is, uh, it looks like 17, no, $12,000 on FanDuel. And he is, let me, da, 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 he's $10,200 on DraftKings. Now, I got to tell you, in a single game lineup, I did the best job I could, you know, speaking about it during the, the Tampa and the Dallas game. This one is going to be just as difficult, if not more, given everything that's going on with the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson is 100% a free square. If you don't have Lamar Jackson in your lineup, why are you playing? But then, hey, Chris, I could argue, you know, devil's advocate here. If you want to get nuts and you want to win some sort of big GPP here, maybe don't even put Lamar Jackson in your lineups. Maybe put Tyson Williams in the MVP spot until the next guy we talk about. And that's Latavius Murray. I mean, that, that, that one couldn't be any easier. Latavius Murray is $9,300 on FanDuel and let me let me double check real quick how much he is 
on DraftKings. Now, or DraftKings, excuse me, Latavius Murray is $9,300 on DraftKings. And then I'll bring up FanDuel while I'm chatting here. So when it comes to Latavius Murray, he's always been, he's been a fantastic kind of backup or a handcuff, however you want to put it. And he's gotten the job done in quite a many situations. He's had a ton of great success in, uh, in, in New Orleans, right? So when he comes to Baltimore, it's going to be, it could it be the Latavius Murray show? Let's say Tyson Williams uh, doesn't work out or he gets a little bit of touches. I would prefer Latavius Murray, who is on FanDuel, $8,000. So as I said, Murray is uh, 9000 bucks on, on DraftKings. He's $8,000 on uh, on FanDuel here. Let's go down the list. Let's go to the, the Vegas Raiders side of the ball. We'll go position by position instead of sticking to one team or the other, other one here. Derek Carr quarterback for the uh, the Vegas Raiders. Now Carr playing Baltimore, their fourth overall, ninth, excuse me, their ninth overall in opposing quarterbacks here. And Derek Carr is, by all intents and purposes, got a rocket of an arm. He, he moves out of the pocket well. He can throw on the run. And Derek Carr is $14,000 on FanDuel, and he's $14,700 on DraftKings. Now to me, and it's no secret. I'm not going to say anything profound here. Derek Carr makes for a pretty dang good MVP spot or the captain spot in here, but you're going to have to jostle and, and fight with all the other hundreds of thousands of people that are putting Derek Carr in their MVP spot. So let's keep it moving. Josh Jacobs, Vegas Raiders running back who everybody has just kind of swept under the rug, right? Kenyon Drake's in town. We'll get to him. But Josh Jacobs is still going to be that lead back. He's going to get all the carries he can handle. I believe for the season, although not pertinent here, but I can spin it, I have Josh Jacobs for over 220, 230 carries this season. So as I said, uh, Josh Jacobs is $12,500 on FanDuel. He's an even, oh no, it looks to be $12,600 on DraftKings. Right down the list, Kenyon Drake. What are we going to do with Kenyon Drake on Monday? And I'll tell you, Kenyon Drake is $8,500 on FanDuel, $10,800 on DraftKings. Now, with Kenyon Drake, you're going to want to get him in like a format like FanDuel, right? It's like PPR scoring. I think you get a half a point per reception. Why can't we double down and roster both uh, Josh Jacobs and and Kenyon Drake. I think that's going to be my move in a lot of lineups on Monday. Both Josh J and Kenyon Drake. Let's see how it goes. We won't know until this time next week or maybe Tuesday morning, but I'm telling you, I like that move. To be fair, at the end of this video, I have my final score prediction and you'll get kind of why I'm getting why I'm acting wild, acting wild, talking wild. However you want to put it here. Now let's go over some receivers real quick. Uh, Hollywood Brown, Marquise Brown, Hollywood is $10,000 on FanDuel, $11,400 on DraftKings. And Vegas is, they're not the best against wide receivers. They're 20th overall against uh, wide receivers. Now, to me, with all the, the litany of, of injuries at the running back position, you would think that now Lamar Jackson is the RB1, QB1. And again, his ownership percentages Monday night will reflect that. Lamar's a free square. We already mentioned it. And when it comes to, to Hollywood Brown, I could see a case at his price, $10,000 on FanDuel, $11,400 on DraftKings, where it, it, it's a good move. Not maybe captain spot, but to me, he's better off in a flex position here because there's a couple other players, as, I, as I've highlighted and as I'll get to, that I would prefer in that spot. But Hollywood Brown, you can't mention him and say, well, he's a free square, you know, that's a, fan, a DFS fantasy buzzword. But to me, Hollywood Brown is better suited as, you know, like a bottom of your roster kind of thing, which is weird given his price. Normally you say like a throw-in guy or a last minute decision would be a lot cheaper than Hollywood Brown. But in this instance, I wouldn't be mad if you stacked Hollywood Brown with Lamar Jackson here. Sammy Watkins, who is, let me look it up here, $8,000 on FanDuel and he's $7,800 on DraftKings. I wouldn't touch this guy with a 10-foot pole. You're allowed to do what you want to do. You know, you're going to get all the naysayers that say, and I'll say it right now, week one, best time to use Sammy Watkins because he explodes. He's kind of like Deshaun Jackson. Ba, 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 ba. Then what are you going to do? So Sammy Watkins is uh, $8,000 on FanDuel, $7,800 
on DraftKings. Now, if we go down, let, let's keep it on the, the Baltimore side of the ball for a moment. My number one play this coming Monday is got to be, has to be, you guessed it, you just said it out loud. It's Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is $11,000 on FanDuel. He's $13,500 on DraftKings. Now in Vegas, Vegas is 18th overall against opposing tight ends. And to be fair, you never want to say, well, you know, injuries to, to certain players, it's, it's good because this happens and that happens. I'm not going to say that. Not in those, not in that term, not in those words. I think Mark Andrews might be the biggest benefactor of all this nonsense at the tight end position. This guy was already kind of a target hog in the red zone for Baltimore. And why would that change on Monday night? More than likely, I believe off the top of my head, Mark Andrews averaged about 8.3, 8.4 targets a game. So why can't we bump the targets up one or two? So how, why can't he, he average 10 or 11 targets a game, especially Monday night? when they're kind of adjusting on the fly because all their running backs are out. And the ones that they do have, aside from Tyson Williams, Le'Veon Bell, Latavius Murray, they've been with the organization like four days already. So Mark Andrews, to me, is a prime candidate for that MVP captain spot. As I said, Mark is $11,000 on FanDuel, $13,500 on DraftKings. So let's let's get to the Raiders side of the ball real quick in terms of wide receivers. Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, Hunter Renfro, and then I'm telling you, you you'll want to stick around because we're going to get to Darren Waller, and I'm going to keep it quick here. So to me, Henry Ruggs playing Baltimore, they're sixth overall against opposing wide receivers. But maybe that 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 is that is a weakness right now because of the injury to Marcus Peters. He is their stud. I know they have other you know men on the DB side of the ball. But to me, Henry Ruggs, $9,500 on FanDuel, $7,500 on DraftKings. Brian Edwards, $7,500 on FanDuel, $8,400 on DraftKings. And then Hunter Renfro, who is $7,500 on FanDuel, and he looks to be $4,200 on DraftKings. So when you look at these, these wide receivers here, Chris, what order would you put them in? I would probably go Edwards, Rugs and then Renfro. That's the order I would use them here. Everybody is very high on this kid, Brian Edwards, this coming season. Rightfully so, but we're not talking seasonal formats. We're talking DFS purposes right here. So give me uh, Brian Edwards, as I said, $7,500 on FanDuel, $8,400 on DraftKings. And last but certainly not least, Darren Waller. Baltimore against opposing tight ends, their second Overall, does that really matter when it's Brian Edwards? He isn't this fly by night, you know, bum off the street. Darren Waller is a stone cold stud at the wide receiver position. He's $13,000 on FanDuel and he's $16,200 on DraftKings. So to me, another just a, in a sweet spot for, for the captain spot. Why can't we have a line with the Andrews at MVP, and then Waller at MVP, and you're just switching them around? Right, one or the other. One's MVP, the other one's a flex, and, and vice versa here. So give me Mark Andrews, as I said, $11,000 on FanDuel, $13,500 on DraftKings. Now, for the game in itself, I have the final score being about 31 to 27 in favor of the Vegas Raiders. So the over-under in this one is 50.5. That's a smash. I love the the, uh, the Vegas Raiders side of the ball. As I said, I have them winning by the slightest of margins here. So if the point spread, I would imagine the Vegas Raiders are getting plus points in this one. So that's a smash. Why can't you do both? Smash the points in Vegas, smash the, the, the over with Vegas here too. So Baltimore at Vegas, going to be a fantastic game. As I said, more than likely, I'm going to roll with Mark Andrews in the MVP spot in some. The other few, I'm going to roll with Darren Waller in the MVP spot. And again, that's that's nothing crazy. It's not profound. It's not really sneaky. But I'm telling you, everybody on earth is going to have Lamar Jackson in their MVP spot. Why don't we zig when others zag? You, you'll see there's a theme in all my videos this past week and in you know, through the rest of the season here. I'm just trying to give you some plays, which, I mean, on paper, you can get this information anyways, but I think you come to me and watch the videos for the way that I think, the way my, my DFS mind is. Write everything down, and we go from there. So to me, I'm going with the Vegas Raiders uh, on Monday Night Football, but a good game will be had by both teams. Lamar Jackson in a great spot, Derek Carr in a great spot, but give me and stack me Vegas Raiders in this one. So thank you so much, and until next time, go Raiders, and we will be in touch.